This is Grace Jelly. I think I should start calling myself Grace Peanut Butter. Cause I love peanut butter. <laughs> okay, I know, a little silly. So um, I'm so happy to be back with you guys on Sunday night. Let me just start up Instagram. So we're live on Facebook and now on Instagram and on YouTube and Periscope and Twitter. Hello, 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 friends. I, I hope you're having a, a beautiful Sunday. How is it going? Where are you tuning in from? Hello, Lit Train. Thanks for always tuning in. Good to see your name. And um, I have arrived back home. I was in Providence, Rhode Island yesterday. I played at an amazing festival. It was the first ever recovery fest, a completely alcohol-free festival, and this nonprofit um, is raising funds for a safe space for um, friends to come celebrate the music, celebrate uh, our friends in recovery, and it was an amazing, an amazing night. I performed right before Macklemore, and one of my friends was playing trumpet in his band. So, uh, so amazing. They had an amazing set, um, and Fitz and the Tantrum also played. We performed at the McCoy Stadium, um, and there was like 10,000 people out there. It was insane. Um, do you guys know the song? Um, I'm, I'm gonna pop some tags Cause I got twenty dollars in my pockets He did that one he did, he did. Uh, Macklemore freaking rocked it. It was awesome. I was like, yes! On side stage. They even, in his set, had a, a dance-off among audience members. Um, and so I performed yesterday, and I still feel like I'm on a cloud. Wow, we have a friend from Japan tuned in. Hello, hello. Uh, I feel like I'm on a cloud. All right, someone on Facebook is saying a little bit more volume. Let me give you a little bit more. Mark, thank you for mentioning that. I really appreciate it. Is that better? Can you guys hear me better? Let me know. Let me know on Facebook if that's a little bit better for you guys and for on, on YouTube. Um, oh, shoot. I just remembered. I did not launch the YouTube app to see friends who are chatting on there. I apologize. My friends on YouTube got a lot of different screens going on. Let me pull you guys up. So, yes, I'm fresh from the gig. Um, I am uh, feeling a little under the weather, so... Uh, bear with me if my brain is a little bit foggy. Okay, Mark, great, I'm glad. And again, on Instagram, you guys can hear the full sound um, and on YouTube and, and on Facebook. Hi, Alan. Instinct saying sounds better, great. Uh, what did I name my sax? Oh, this is, this is the big mama. Some days I have good names for my saxophones, and actually my alto was never really named, never properly named, but my uh, baritone, I just kind of go by Big Mama, and I think a lot of you on Instagram know her by that as well. 
Co from Hawaii saying, I love the contrabass sax. Wow, have you ever played one? I've never played I would love to play a contrabass sax. That would be crazy. Hi, Sophie. Oh, it's so nice to see some friends and family tuned in. So, um, friends on Facebook and Twitch and Periscope and YouTube, you guys probably are seeing this, um, this text on the bottom. So, really exciting news from this week. I actually launched my very first Patreon page. Do you guys know what Patreon is? It's a really cool, um, it's a very cool, what am I trying to say? Platform. Oh my gosh, I have some serious brain <laughs> tonight. It is an amazing platform for independent artists where fans can support their favorite artists on a monthly basis by giving as little as one dollar and the artists come up with really cool rewards um and exclusive stuff so for a dollar on my patreon you're gonna get special patreon posts just on that platform you get invited into an exclusive private facebook group where i have a bunch of my pledge music family which speaking of which pledge music family is i think there's like 200 of you guys on my private page we got to talk about renaming this private Facebook page name so that we can include these Patreon supporters. And um, guys, this Facebook group that I have uh, is really fun. It is full of great pictures and comments from uh, all of our community. And uh, it's really the best place where I can write back to comments and questions because I get notifications. And um, so... That's uh, definitely a good uh, place for, I'd, I'd like to update fans right away on that private Facebook page. You'll be the first to know a lot of stuff. So if you check out that link, patreon.com slash Grace Kelly Music, uh, I really love for you guys to join. Again, there's different reward tiers from $1 to um, up and up to like, $350, I think, is the biggest tier, which comes with uh, all sorts of stuff like monthly Skype hellos and lessons. And uh, there's one tier that I think is really cool that gives private playlists of my inspiration every month. So that I'm really excited to make that for you guys. Anyways, I think right now I have five patrons, which is so exciting. <laughs> Thank you. And the biggest difference between Patreon and my Pledge Music page is Patreon is for my every my regular content making so i've been doing yeah um so it'll basically be for my cover videos and i have dreams of doing some dance sax videos where basically the funding from patreon would allow me to bring on other musicians and dancers so that i could hire them and and i like the idea that patreon does it on a monthly um subscription because in that way it's a lot I I'm able to actually plan and budget out to make these other videos so um pledge music is definitely the only place that you guys can still pre-order my upcoming cd and has very specific experiential awesome stuff and it's also the only place that you can get like autographed merch sent to you um, but Patreon is definitely going to be on a more regular, just a regular basis. And if you support me there, you're going to be support, supporting regular content making. And um, it's a pleasure to make all these videos for you guys. And I just want to dig more into it and um, really like push, push, get even cooler stuff, work with more amazing, talented people. And by you guys being there and I can't thank you enough for your support um, you are making that happen so I'm always so grateful to all of you so again there's the link and um, thank you guys so much it really means as an independent artist you guys are the ones who've literally funded my past albums and have uh, I'm so grateful I love you all <laughs> I love this rolly chair. It's just like 
It's a new chair, and it makes it really easy to get around the room and grab different instruments. Ah! Okay, so I know I've been talking for a while. Thank you for putting up with my awkward blabbing. Hi, Amanda. Two backs. Wow, that sounds very hip. Um, hello, Gilson. Where are you guys tuning in from? Hi, Kirk. Oh, we're not going to Toronto anytime soon, but I hope... We do make it to Canada. As always, my tour dates are dropping at uh, Bands in Town slash Grace Kelly. And if you sign up for notification, it will let you know when I'm coming to your city. I would love to visit you in Toronto and play a show, hopefully soon. Um, okay, and as always, taking some questions and song requests. We already have a question. Mark is saying, I have my first ever gig on October 21st. Any advice for a noob? Yes, I have advice. <laughs> so my advice for your first ever gig is to prepare, 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 prepare. I highly recommend uh, making a set list for yourself and knowing what songs you're going to play. And then I would literally, um, I would perform leading up to it i would just go through the music and i would actually film i i would advise to film yourself while um while practicing your set and then i would watch it i've actually done a lot of that and it's a very painful thing to do um just because like it's sometimes really hard to listen to our own voices and watch ourselves and i'm like really do i sound like that why am I having so many brain farts? And um, yeah, that's a great thing to do. Um. Jacqueline, I am playing tunes. If you have song suggestions, please let me know. So my friends, I am really holding this live stream tonight to get to any of your questions and to play any of your song requests. Um, I'm so glad we can be back on Sunday night. And let's see, the really exciting things cooking for me have been yesterday getting to perform in front of so many new friends in Rhode Island. Wow, what a night. Wow, wow, wow. Still flying so high from it. And I'm preparing for my upcoming trip in like five days. I'm headed to the West Coast and playing in Newport, Oregon. And then I'm going to South Korea to play the Jadasem Festival, which is one of the biggest jazz festival. I've heard that there's like 80,000 people who come out. I'm so excited. Have any of you been to Seoul? Also, if you have any places that you think I should go visit while I'm there, please, please send a message or comment. I'm so excited for that. I'm going to be in Seoul for like 10 days doing media stuff, interviews. I'm actually going to be performing um, in a fashion runway and getting dressed and doing like the, the runway thing. Thanks to my friend Bill for hooking that up. So, so cool. There's this very hip, up-and-coming soul uh designer tofit uh i just love their look super cutting edge and uh, that's who i'm going to be working with there so all of the pieces are coming together and I i'm very very excited for this trip and there's also a million things to do to get ready for it so i'm also like oh my god time is flying it's like it's already the end of september everybody Ha! Ah, okay, Amanda on YouTube is saying, how do you think, what do you think of when you come up with bass lines in different styles? So I definitely think the thing that I'm thinking about the most um, when I am creating bass lines is the groove. And this is a great thing for any fellow musicians out there. Like, you know, I literally think about the metronomic beat. And then if it's, say, it's like a funk beat, I know in my heartbeat and, and, in my blood what a funk beat feels like and then I literally just kind of start to feel it in my bones in my body and then I improvise the bass line 
The other really helpful thing to do is if you know any songs that are in that style, you can start singing that melody of the song and then think up a bass line around it. So, for example, if I'm thinking of something funky, it might be um, Sissy Strut, m- great meter song. And then I'd come up with a bass line. Right. So that's that's a great question, and that's one of the ways that I think up bass lines. If I was thinking of like a Brazilian song, uh, tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from me, Panema goes walking. You know, I might think of what about a bossa nova groove. That's a great question. Hello, Patrick. Thank you for joining. Kirk, how do we get, Kirk is asking how we get an autographed copy of my CD. So I'm about to launch my Grace Kelly Music website store, which is where in the future you'll be able to get all of those things. But for now, you could go to my Pledge Music page where you can pre-order my upcoming release, Go Time Brooklyn 2, and you will simultaneously be supporting the project. Um, And that's how you can get an autographed CD. Also, for any new friends that just joined us, I launched a Patreon page this past week, and uh, that is also a way to get a bunch of goodies and support my regular content making. You can get cool things like personal video shout outs, sorry, uh, video credit shout outs, uh, Skype time, private playlists, um, lots of really uh, cool stuff behind the scene posts so anyways and patreon and pledge music um even if you contribute one dollar you will be entered into a really cool family of friends uh, a private facebook group and um a lot of other cool stuff did i say cool a bajillion times i think i did <laughs> so uh let's see <laughs> I'm going to play a little bit, guys. I'm honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm having a lot of brain fogginess right now. I actually woke up from a nap not too long ago, and I thought I'd wake up like, ooh, but I've kind of woken up like, ooh. (laughs) And I don't know if I'm speaking well. If I mean, the fact that you're still watching is amazing because I think I sound like gibberish. So I'm going to just turn on a track and play for you for a bit in freestyle because I think I might do that better in the current situation. Okay. But keep those questions coming and those song suggestions. You guys on Instagram can tune in on the other platforms on YouTube. And then you can hear this track because right now it's bumping, right? Get it together. 
Matthew, thank you, my friend. Where are you tuning in from? Um, like I was saying earlier, I wanted to just make sure to check in with all of you on Sunday night because I know I've been like changing the times around on all of you. And unfortunately, coming up, it's going to be a little bit harder to do them on Sunday nights because I am traveling. And at some point, very soon, as in like, uh, in the beginning of October, I will be in Seoul, Korea, and I think, I think everything will just be completely turned around, right? Morning, night, night, morning. But anyways, I will always keep you guys up to date of when we can do these live streams according to my schedule, and I will put scheduled posts together so you get a little ding about when we get to hang out next. Uh, Instagram, if you, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Um, if you go to my YouTube, you can subscribe there and that will give you notification. <laughs> Tuning in from Georgia, Kristen, yeah, 11 hours difference, exactly. So if you have any uh, jet lag tips, my friends, lay them on me. Matthew, you're, oh, tuned in from San Antonio. Is it hot there? I think it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful night. Tonight I'm in New York and I love these fall crisp days. <laughs> Georgia, Henry's tuned in from Georgia. <laughs> Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Ooh, we got a friend tuned in from Dallas, Texas. Uh, so cool. So friends, like I was mentioning before, I launched a Patreon just this week and there are five of you who've already joined me on Patreon. I'm so flattered. That is going to be the platform for um, special access to behind the scenes and monthly goodies for you. You can become a patron for as little as $1 per month and get all these exclusive things. Thank you for your support. The Patreon is um, to ha to create funding for monthly for monthly video covers and dance covers and uh, sorry dance music covers. There's always gonna be some music in there, and uh, I'm really excited to just be able to expand on content making for you guys and with your support, 
I am able to do that and spend more time doing that uh, and bring in some other wonderful creatives. And um, thank you guys. You guys are uh, you guys are the jam. <laughs> And of course, if you are not in a position to support um, financially, the videos will of course still be coming out to all of you and I appreciate you spreading the word and um, hitting your friends and coming in on the live streams and being active on social media and coming out to shows. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, Nicole, the t-shirts will be up soon-ish. Once we build my website store, we'll have t-shirts, we'll have super fan package, CDs, autograph stuff. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found somebody who can make it come true, can make me be blue. Could even be glad just to be sad. Thank you. I'm getting asked if I'm excited for Halloween. I'm so excited for Halloween! Yeah, I just gotta figure out what to be. Do you have suggestions? My boyfriend and I, actually not gonna give away what we were gonna be, but um, I don't know, I wanna know what, maybe I should be an apple. That could be fun. <laughs> My, my father's tuned in and he's asking where in Ireland do you live because I'm actually headed to Dublin in November. Right, Dad? Um, I think we're going to make the trip together and we were just talking about Ireland early today because it would be really cool to spend some extra time there. Plus, my last name is Kelly. Got to go explore the ancestor roots, right? How long have I been playing baritone saxophone is one of the questions. Not that long, my friends. What if I just sing all my answers? Not that long, my friends. I really started playing baritone saxophone when I first came to New York. And believe it or not, that was three years ago. How time is flying. I kind of like this. I kind of like the singing answers. I didn't know how to play baritone saxophone. And the first time I had to play it was on national TV on CBS. I was playing in the house band of the lead show with Stephen Colbert. And John Batiste called me up and said, I want you to play baritone saxophone and alto and soprano and clarinet and flute and vocals and tambourine. <laughs> um... So, to be perfectly honest, it took a while to, to, I feel like I'm still getting to know the berry, which is why I want to play it more. It's, re it's a really fun instrument, but I think you really have to learn the baritone and practice it. Um, almost like, you know, the baritone's just got a different language than the alto, because you have the access to all these great low notes and to, like, be a percussive instrument. And, to, you know, all the instruments have different ranges and... Playing the soprano saxophone is very different than playing the baritone. They literally live in different worlds, like if you're a soprano singer versus if you're a bass singer. And there's really fun things that you can do to highlight the nature of the instrument. You know, getting to play a low A. 
literally like has got some meat to it. So one of my favorite things to do when I play berry solos is just play all the low notes, but that wouldn't have the same effect on soprano or on alto. And then I play the flute. I do play some clarinet. Everybody's asking me to pick up some of these other instruments. So hold on, let me do a little bit of that. I do, I'm falling more and more in love with the baritone. Um, I still kind of consider myself um, developing my sound on it, but I love it. Okay. some chord issues okay one day this is all just gonna be wireless i've got my flute in the court it's one of my favorite things about this rolling chair i literally love being able to pick up all these different instruments and when i'm recording at home it's also really fun to basically be like what flavor what flavor what woodwind flavor is gonna happen next <laughs> Patrick, that is a great idea. He's saying, why don't I call this Sunny Sundowns? That's so much, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. I didn't sing, uh, I could change the words to, to my opening song. Sunny Sundowns. Ooh, it already sounds so, so much more evening time. Swanky with Grace Kelly. Shun. Hold on, hold on. Let me put some keys on this, everybody. Ooh, this, see, this is the magic of being in the studio and having all these things at one's fingertips. Guys, I feel so, so out of it tonight. I feel really silly. Um, okay, let's let's try out this new. Um, this new evening vibe. Uh oh. What's going on? It's not. What's going on? I can't hear the keyboard. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna bore you guys. But sun is sundown with Grace Jelly. <laughs> Sunny sundowns with Grace Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your tea. Yes, I have it. Or if you, oh my God, it matches. <laughs> Guys, I didn't even plan it. It kind of matches. This is a little bit more red. This is a little more orange. Grab your tea. Or if you prefer coffee. Or wine, maybe I should add, add that in. Grab your tea or if you prefer vino. Sunny sundowns. Sunny sundowns. With me. I love it. Do you guys like that? Sunny sundowns. Oh, I did, I did not mean to curse. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. That was the mic. That was the mic dropping. So this is Elephant, everyone. <laughs> Nicole, tea is life. Um, this is not mine. This is one of my best friends. Bass clarinets. And he is asking, he asked me to babysit it for him while he is traveling internationally and so i am this elephant that's his name for her or him i don't know what sex the baritone clarinet is ba sorry bass clarinet it's not a baritone clarinet um this is the mouthpiece that goes with it all of the different woodwinds need different mouthpieces 
I love the sound of this instrument. It is so sexy. It's so beautiful. Um, I actually composed my first film score to a great short called The Bird Who Could Fly, and it made its round around the film festivals. I worked with a great director who is also an actor who's on a lot of shows that you probably watch. And I ended up scoring a lot of that film on this instrument. And I'm doing more with him. We're working on a food documentary right now, doing film scoring for that. And um, the bass clarinet has made some more appearances. Wow, there's so much built up anticipation for the bass clarinet. I love it. Let's make sure I can play it now. So right now, all I really know how to play is the low notes well, because I'm still trying to learn how to like clarinet is very different than sax. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it, Nicole, already giving me suggestions of where to go. That's awesome. Okay, well, someone's requesting Ain't No Sunshine. I think I can pull that off on this instrument. Doesn't that sound so good? Let me play you the lowest note. I think that's the lowest note. And then if you put your foot in it, this is a good trick, you can actually make it lower. Actually, <laughs> I think you might have to do that against the leg. Um, it works on alto too, so if you want to get a low A on the alto, you just like stick your foot in the bell. So. Oh, let's put on a track. Let's see if I can improv on bass clarinet. I just love the sound of this instrument. I'm glad you guys are digging it. My favorite song, Alan wants to know on YouTube, what are my favorite songs? One of my favorite songs is um, a Duke Ellington, sorry, a Billy Strayhorn composition called Isfahan, and I actually recorded that song. It's so dense and beautiful. It is a, a true jazz gem. <laughs> We're hanging out on Sunday night And everybody's feeling alright It's late night And overseas On Instagram and Facebook and YouTube And Twitch and there's no PC Thank you. 
Too sexy video with me and Leo. Oh, did I just say that? Did I give it away? Uh, um, my friends, I'm wow, Amanda, you are doing math while listening to me. That's the first time I've ever heard that. I hope I'm, I hope I'm helping with the math. Like I'm, I was once told by a friend of mine that when she put on the Grace Kelly Pandora channel, she was ninety nine percent more productive. Maybe she said 100% more productive. I'm not quite sure. Um, and I was really honored. Uh, my friends, I'm so glad that you've tuned in on this Sunday night and that we have gotten kind of back on schedule. Like I was saying, coming up, the time will probably change, but I will set that, that what's it, word? Oh, notification on Facebook and on YouTube so you know when our next Hangout will be because our next Hangout will probably be yeah, I'll be traveling. Uh, but I love hanging out with you. I love hearing your comments and your song suggestions. I am really flattered that on this particular night, when I feel kind of crazy and like I'm not saying my words well, that you are all still tuned in and you're very sweet. Maybe you're all, I don't know. Um, are you all drinking wine? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm honored that you're still hanging out. Um, and like I mentioned before, I launched a Patreon page, so I would love to have you guys join me on there. I'm really excited about building that page up and getting some exclusive stuff out to you guys there. And I'm sending much love as always. I'm going to sign off for the night and, uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I love, love hearing from you. Okay. I'm going to answer a few more questions. Nicole, this fat green neck strap of mine is actually custom made for my dad from 10 years ago. I've also had other people hitting me up being like, where'd you get your neck strap? One person mentioned that he's been looking the whole internet to find that neck strap. And so I said to my dad, hmm, maybe you could do some custom orders. It's so comfy too. It's literally like, and um, it makes me feel good every time I put it on. It, yeah, I love green, color of life. It goes with my hair and all that. Uh, okay, I'm going to sign off with that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with Loopy Grace tonight. I'm l sending so much love to all of you, and um, see you guys next week. Mwah! Goodbye for now, and uh, I'm going to stop talking. Okay, bye! Instagram, you're still